Hello, welcome back to uh, this week's newest episode. Um, we're probably going to have more uh, new episodes, so uh, stay tuned each week. Uh, yeah, of... <laughs> oh yeah, of this... Uh, welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. Um, so this is the second to last level. Um, so Rusty Bucket Bay... Uh, okay, personally, I do like it. Um, just, I do, like, I would say, like, the music overall, I, I really think, like, the music is good. Because I do like the, like, the, I like, like, the boat, like, the boat horns and, like, just, like, it's, like, wah, 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 like, that kind of, like, sound effect that they're using. Also, now we have to fight Living TNT. Um, oh yeah, here's the thing. Yeah, the witch is gonna... There you go. My only water and you plunge. You'll lose air while in that gunge. And then, under the scum, you'll breathe your last. Because air is used twice as fast. So yes. Um, so compared to other um, oil... So you can jump out and like get to the surface but like you won't uh you won't uh be able to breathe the air you have to actually find a way out and then and, like you gotta get on land before you actually want to you know until you want to get your air oxygen back um i sort of kind of have like a route that i usually go for in a uh, rusty bucket um, I usually stay on the outside first, and then make my way inside. Cause like, being outside is only, um... Yeah, being the outside of the ship is only half of the, um... Oh, there we go. Yeah. You shoot. I'll take six in total, cause that way you can actually collect the, um... Items over the water. Or just or oily water. Um, so yeah, being outside of the of the um the rusty bucket, or you know the SS rusty bucket, um, it's only half of the level. Um, the rest of the level is pretty much inside the rusty bucket. Um, you know what? Uh, let's just go ahead and deal with this. We'll come back. Um, so for new players, this level is definitely, like, it's very challenging. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's one of the, one of the jiggies inside this, like, little warehouse. Um, what else? Oh, uh, I mean, we don't really need the one-up, but we do need the, um, notes. <laughs> I'm say, and that's another thing. Like these enemies that come out of these like little like grates, um, they aren't really the hardest enemy. Once you figure out that like, uh, as long as you're doing because there's ratatat, like ratatat attack, um, before you get in front of the little grate, like these enemies are practically nothing. Okay, and so now you actually need a go out and for some reason like even though i'm out you'll start under the water oh yeah you hear that sound yeah i never heard that sound the first few times i uh, uh i'm trapped help get this thing off snorkel uh the first time i uh finally beat the game um there is like a moment where um where when, when you beat like the first part of the of the um the first part of the final boss you get a um a fake credits um i'm pretty sure the first fake like the first credits shows off like it shows off every enemy and character in the game but i don't think it shows their like actual um also how does that work it goes straight through snorkel Thanks, guys! I found this earlier! It's yours! 
And it's like, okay, a dolphin's just gonna go swim around in the uh, oily water. Um. It's like, sure. Oh yeah, and that's the thing, that's the only, like, that's the only, um, time you ever see that character. It's like, as you're randomly... I think that's what the main point was, is that you come out of that storage building, and then you, and then, you know, you direct, you then meet, uh, Snorkel. So you can't really climb this, because, because even though there was something up above, you can't really, um, you can't really, like, climb it, climb the chain. But yeah, that's a very, like, short, <laughs> I say, like, I was about to say, like, oh, that's a short-lived character, but I wouldn't, like, short-lived would mean, oh, you met the character, but then they, like, passed away, like, or died. Um, it's just the fact that it was, the only interaction was, hi, nice to meet you, um, you want this thing off you, uh, sure, let's, let me go get this anchor off of you. Oh, I activated it. Okay, cool, you're leaving. It's like, cool, okay. Also, I'm being very careful, because let me tell you about the first time I, uh... Also, I thought that... <gasps> Guys. You know what? At the end of the level, I'm going to have to remember to pick that up, because I don't want to go back around. I totally forgot. I was blinded by the fact that talking and doing this... Um... Yeah. Let's playing is very hard. Or should I say commentary is a bit. <gasps> okay. So let me tell you about the first time I was like, oh, this place, you know, okay, cool. Let, let me just come down here. Let me go grab the Jinjo. Um, nothing could possibly go wrong. You know, you know, you have one of those moments. I'm like, okay, cool. It's like, why are you here? Of all the, and, and you don't even talk when you come out. And let me tell you. L little young me was so scared. I was like, what do I do? I don't know how to get out of here without that thing appearing and chasing me. Oh, oh, I remember the exact thoughts in my head. So I, I was like, you know, gotta use first person, you know, use your instincts, you know, look around. And you know what I see? You can barely see it, but at the center of your screen is an opening of... Uh, through the, um, the, the wire, wiring gate, wired gate. And I'm like, I remember in my head, I was thinking, Oh no, you want me to go swim through there? And I, and maybe, maybe I also noticed the hole in the building, but like, more importantly, I wanted to find a way to get out, cause this, you know, this is, all the, all around me is way too high to jump up to. And I'm like, how do I get out of here without s Snacker showing up? Why is there a shark in oily water? It's like, okay, if I can't swim it, if I can't swim in this water, why can't you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm playing this in the dark and I'm terrified. Please, please get away from me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and also too, in here is oily water. It looks clearer, but no. Also, like, you know, th oh, that's a funny, like, enemy, you know, you, uh, you pop it and it goes, you know, makes that funny, funny sound. Oh, look at that. That's the power of Ground Pound, baby. I don't think it's timed, or maybe it is. Okay, thank goodness it's not, because unnecessary timing is not needed. Wow, I, I hit that at the, at the last available uh, frame that my uh, attack frames were active. Um, there's more of my nerd talk. Okay, cool. Uh, I know where the second uh, thingy is. Empty honeycomb. Okay. Also, look at that. The game tempts you by like, hey, swim in the oily water. And, um, go collect those red feathers. Okay, cool. I don't have to. Let me just go ahead and grab this. Now, I might die. Okay. 
let me do this. Also, like, doing that is, like, I, I want to say, like, doing Kazooie's red atta attack is, um, that gets you the most distance compared to your regular double jump. Okay. Let's just be careful because I really don't want to fall in there again. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I always, always came back to this game when I was little, like years and years, because it was like I slowly figured out stuff without using the internet. Because, you know, it, you know, when you're young, you didn't... When I was young, I didn't have a cell phone. Um, uh, and I pretty much, you know... It's not like I had Nintendo Power to tell me, like, oh, this is what you do, you know, in this stage, or, you know, this is what you do to get this item, you know? So I pretty much had to figure it out, and that was super fun. Also, that's fitting. The, the green Jinjo is in an area filled with, like, toxic waste. And I mean, it's not like, it's not an insta-kill if you go in there, you know, despite the fact that it's literally toxic waste. It just makes like like one of like a, those sizzling sounds, um, and you just get hurt. There we go. And I I just do that because it's, that's you can't actually like you can't ground pound them or you can't like you know do that into the TNT boxes, or else you'll end up um you'll just end up like it'll the TNT box will explode on you. Can I not miss these? Please. Okay. Um Yeah, let's stick to the outside. Cause we're almost like at the end of the I say on like the far outside. Before we actually go on onto the um SS Salty Splatoon. What was it called again? Rusty Bucket. Yeah. Oh! I was too high. But that's okay. Arg Splorch. Uh, oh yeah, one one thing, like, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before. I, I probably did mention this on, like, the first episode. But, like, you know, compared to Super Mario 64, so, like, you know, coins heal you, but you also need coins to get a power star. But, like, in Banjo-Kazooie, so, like, honeycombs, you know, are health. And so, and so, you know, compared to the coins that if you leave them alone, like, if you defeat an enemy, they'll drop a coin. Um, after a few seconds, the coin will, coin will blink and then, like, go, go away forever. Um, so then you have to, like, exit the level and, like, if you don't have enough coins to get to 100, did a 100 coin star. Do I ground pound this? No, you don't. But, like, Banjo-Kazooie, the honeycomb pieces, or, well, honeycomb, like, um, you know, the health, uh, for those, you know, I can leave the, I can leave these honeycombs wherever I want, uh, run around the entire level as, as long as I want, and as far as I know, the, um, honeycomb piece will be there, like, 30 minutes later, it'll still be there. Okay, so there's a Jinjo around here, I'm pretty sure I think I know where it is. There it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure this place is just for a Jinjo. And of course some some stuff. Um was that it? Okay, more feathers. Uh eh, we don't really need feathers at the moment. Because this, uh, yeah, this, uh, this stage doesn't really, uh, require feathers. Okay, so, in order to cross this bridge, you need to go to the other side. We're gonna go ahead and just go back. Okay. Work with me, camera. Okay. Ugh. Like, like, just please don't, because it's gonna be a long swim back up. Um, so, so before I actually, um, started recording, I, uh, I was, like, listening to, like, some of the music that, like, 
I usually listen to. And then, like, I was like, you know what? Um, it's like, you know what? Let me look up uh, this. I, 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 I think I completely forgot how I got back to the listening to this one series. But, um, oh, oh, my gosh, we actually got it. And, and the cage won't, like, close on you until you get out of the way. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, there you go. But, um, so there's this one video game series called, uh, Demo. It's sort of like, sort of kind of like, uh, I would say like arcade-ish, uh, arcade-like, um, rhythm game. Where like, you, 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 so, there's, you have a line at the bottom of your screen, you know, you hold it horizontally. I'm pretty sure I remember this code. And so, you have these notes that fly down, and so you have to tap the notes, uh, the moment they touch this line. Um, also, yeah, I, I love my knowledge on remembering stuff like that. Um, and so it's really fun, like, I remember the first time, it, it was like the longest time I had it on my, like, Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, I had the demo version, which gave you, like, a few songs and stuff like that. Um, and, like, you get to view some of the story. And then I remember, um, I was finally able to, like, buy the full game on, like, uh, you know, the, the Play Store. And I remember I was so excited, because it was like, I loved the- I remember when I first heard the music, um, off of this game, and it's all like, you know, piano music, um, that like, you know, like, you know, that the series, like, themselves, uh, Rayark made, um, and then also, there's also some collaborations with other, like, art, uh, music artists, um, uh, I would say, like, specifically, like, on the, um, on the, like, video game, like, side of, like, video game music. Um. Oh. Yeah, watch out for this dude. This dude, bro, this dude. And, um. And so I listened to, like, some of the songs. And, like, man, I. Um. I cried, because, like, some of the, like, it's just the, the music from it is what really, like, it's, like, what really put the nail in the coffin of, like, I absolutely love, um, uh, video game music. It is, like, you know, because, you know, I listen to country music my whole life, you know, that's what my family listened to, you know, it's, and that's what, we, what they would put on on the radio, and, you know, <laughs> and, you know, if it, would, if it would be me and my mom in the car, you know, like, we're riding together, uh, she would- <gasps> Oh, please don't- don't do this to me today. My mom would uh, normally put on, like, the- the pop station. But that's the thing. Um, just, like, speaking of music, um, it's just, like, ever, like, growing up playing video games, you know, hearing the music from video games, you know, I- I loved it all. You know, I loved, you know, you know, like the songs from like, you know, or, you know, just the themes of like the stages from like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because, you know, I had, I had Sonic Mega Collection on the PlayStation 2, so it was like, you know, I would constantly be hearing the Sonic, like, the themes and like, all that. You know, the Mario games, Zelda, all that. Oh! Also cool, they're all- all the gingers are outside. Well, almost all of them. Okay. We're actually do making good progress. Okay. Have to focus for a moment. Okay. <gasps> I was about to jump off and I was gonna be so mad. Um... And so, okay, so this is what I was going with this conversation. So I cried listening to the music because, like, I remember, like, because when I first finally got, like, finally bought, like, the demo game, um, I think, like, it was only, like, maybe, like, maybe three, four dollars? 
Which, you know, isn't too bad, because that's the thing, it was a game that I really loved. I really loved the demo, because I love the music. Okay, I'm debating. Because if I walk up, it's like, oh, look at that, free Jiggy. Um... I want to show I want to show you guys a trick, but I also just want to like. <sighs> Hold on. Okay. Okay. So now it's gonna move. So here's the thing. It is now. I can now grab the object. So before, if I walk, if I would have walked up before a uh, hurt hurting King Boombox. Um, also I can, like, oh, he doesn't activate his, oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, okay, so real quick, what, what happened was that, so if I would have walked up, I would have activated a cutscene, I would have had, you know, I would have had to read more dialogue, um, which I kind of didn't want to do, <laughs> um, you know, talk, the, and so as King Boombox, like, um, unfolds himself, to, um, or, like, folds himself up to, like, show, show, like, oh, it's me, I'm gonna, you have to defeat me first before you get the Jiggy, um, so he would, like, capture the Jiggy, and then you have to fight, uh, him, and so as you fight him, um, he'll, like, split, split into, like, multiple, like, smaller versions of him, of himself, also, that's a cool combo, huh, um, and so it takes about like maybe like two like about about two minutes to like defeat him because he'll get smaller in the like little pe the little pieces like <gasps> can we please not die right now please I really don't want to die right now. Oh, thank you. Um, more importantly, like, I don't want to die because I don't want to collect the notes again. <sighs> okay. Here's what I will do. I'm gonna jump a- <gasps> Please don't do this to me today. Oh, don't you love it when games are jank? Don't let you, don't allow you to do stuff that you want to do. Okay, I'm gonna have to. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, they came in way too fast. Okay, <sighs> Jesse, please finish your thought, please. Um. Okay. So yeah, it's just like you know when I finally bought a uh, demo on the Samsung phone. Um. It was around, it was around like junior high, so like seventh, eighth grade, and so it just brought back a lot of memories of like my old friends who like I used to talk to a lot, and just you know, it's just as time goes on, um, just eventually they sort of, um, they sort of, I understand that some of them are busy, you know, some you know people can be busy at times. But, you know, just, it just brought back all the good memories when, you know, just had, when I had so many f friends, you know, it's not like I don't have friends now, you know, I'm thankful for the people who, you know, thankful for my family, thankful for, you know, friends who still talk to me, and, and for the new friends I make, um, but, you know, just, just I understand that some people, they just want to sort of, um, they just want to kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say they wanted to or they chose to, but I don't know. It's like, it's kind of hard to say this, but like, it just personally, and no, this isn't a pity party, pity, pity party, you know, don't, you know, no one's, no one has to feel sorry for me or or, or stuff, just, um, so sometimes it feels like some people, like, they just walk, they just walk out of your life, they just, one day they stop texting back, and, you know, it just brought back all the memories of 
you know, I, I do miss my friend, you know, the friends that I used to talk to back then, and, you know, just, you know, just, oh well, you can't rewind time, you can't, you know, we just gotta let, let things be, you know? Oh no, I did not want to do that. Do the eggs come back? No, the eggs don't come back. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I really loved the music from Demo, and I still do. It just brings back, you know, sad memories and, you know, memories of the past. Um, so back to Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I might, I'm pretty sure I can actually fly up and... Okay. Let me... Here we go. That's a little, to me I consider that like a like a Donkey Kong Country um sort of trick because it's like in Donkey Kong Country if you do like an attack like I know for Diddy if you like roll and then like you jump like you can jump mid air so like that's a way to get distance and um and you know get to places. Uh, farther farther places also also look at that it's like okay giant gates we're over at, at like I guess like a harbor you know there's like these like steam pipes you know these buildings that you can't even go into you know you got cranes like working on the uh, the ship and it's just like you look out so far away and it's like like, obvi obviously, you're not meant to see, like, far past, but, like, it's, like, where, like, what is this? Is this an island, or, like, like, when I was younger, like, this is the stuff I would look out and think of, you know? I, I would stare out into the distance and try to imagine what does out there look like, you know? It's, like, is there any way to open up the gate and, like, go to other islands? Even though this whole place is the level. Okay, I think I've pretty much gotten everything outside. I'm thinking. Yeah. So now, it's about time we went inside. Uh, oh, wait. Before we actually go and enter that door, because that's where, like, another part of the main level is, we need to... I know there's more, um... Okay, so like as you can see like these little um Because like before I broke one of the windows, but if you can sort of kind of tell it's a flat texture um, Also some of these pipes you can go in it's just the ones that have the like the darker reddish color inside the pipes If you get too close like you you'll then tell oh, that's an enemy Okay Let's try to get, try to get inside. Okay. Ugh. Whoa! I guess someone decided to just off themselves. Just. Oh no! Okay. Uh, you can go and give me that. Yeah, I guess that uh, TNT box decided to blow itself up for no reason. Can I actually make it up there? Hold on. Let me like... There we go. No, I actually need to jump. Jump from here. As long as the pipe doesn't get in the way. Can I do that? Oh, is this going to be my biggest obstacle of today? Oh, dude. Please don't tell me. Okay, Kazooie. Oh my gosh, do not do this. Okay, let me... Ch there we go, I had to change my timing. I did not want that to happen. Okay. Luckily, I had in I had iframes, or, you know, invincibility frames. Where after getting hit, I'm, st I'm still sort of invincible. So I'm not constantly being juggled and, you know, being attacked every second. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm pretty sure that's it in this room Okay Now 
Um. Okay. Yeah, so this one, it's got like a brighter color. Oh. Uh, even just hearing that sound, it scares me. Ugh. I hate that sound. Oh, that, that is like, that is like a terrifying sound. Because you do not want to be close to it. Oh, oh, oh my, I, I had a legit heart attack. <laughs> I did not like that. He like, that's like a nightmare enemy. Like, it'll like, like that's something in your nightmares that like you, you don't want to get too close to whatever it is you're looking at. And if you do get too close, it's like, it bites you and then you wake up. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh. Oh, I can't see you. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, something I do want to mention. Another... Oh great, I'm tired. Um, so this character, this little uh, like female looking animal character. So um, I don't know, should I call it a tidbit or I don't know, I guess I should just uh, call these um like fun facts. So this character is, this is the beta version of Barry from Conquerors, specifically from Conquerors like um. So okay, like before I said there was Conquerors Bad Fur Day. But then, I think it was like Conker's Adventures or 64, where before Conker, Conker's Bad Fur Day became like what it was when it released, it was like a more childlike, more version. So this character, this is what Barry looked like in the beta version, but she looks very different in, uh, in a B Bad Fur Day. Um, and you, you'll, you'll see a very big difference in character design. When you search up like beta design Barry versus like Barry's final design in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, um, I'd rather not give like a description because um, I don't know. Just look it up yourself, please. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Um, there's more rooms I need to go through. Cause yeah, there's. Oh, wait, I think this one. Okay, no, not that one. Okay, so here's another pipe I can go into. Which one is this one? Oh, this is the kitchen. Oh, hi! Sure, let's just... Let's just go into this oven. Stupid bear! You'll have to learn! That red-hot ovens tend to burn! I, so I did that because I just wanted to show off, like, show off the, um, special dialogue. Also, the fact that, like, you never really see Grunty, um, until, like, you know, you don't, like, you don't meet her face to face as Banjo-Kazooie yet. Like, the whole game. So, like, anytime, like, she has special dialogue, she'll, like, pop up out of nowhere. And just, like, say something. Also, cool, I can, like, jump up and collect these. I don't have to worry about the slug monster. Mm. But yeah, it's like, she'll just pop up and, like... <laughs> I, I She'll, like, third wheel it? I guess, like, we'll call it, like, third wheeling or, um... Or, what is it that, um... That, like, YouTubers call it? Um... Backseating, that's what it is. She'll backseat you and just be like, hey, let me say something uh, Related to um, what just happened like I'm not gonna be there, but I'm just gonna say something like okay, cool Double kill um. Yeah So like this would be the... I would say this would be like a command room. Um, oh, yeah. Um, so even though it's like, oh, cool, like, there's a map, you know? Like, uh, 
you know, surely Jesse has something to say about these maps. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe these maps were going to be used in, like, another Rareware game at the time. Um, you know, you, you can barely read the indescribable papers. Um, say, is there anything else? To, I'm pretty sure that there's, like, yeah, and there's nothing really else. Like, nothing else to note. It's like, eh. Oh, wait, what is that up there? Nah, uh, probably just like, I would say blueprint, but just like notes about like an island. Uh, like indescribable island that is not mentioned anywhere or in any other Banjo-Kazooie game. Like, eh, okay. Like, oh, maybe, maybe Jesse just managed to, uh, solve something. Um, there is a room around here that I need to find. Oh, I know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's all the way back here. Um, because there is a button that I need to hit. Okay, not... So that one's the evil one. Let me go into here. And then you hear... I think this is the real music. Yes. Yeah, this is the one that, like... That, like, really describes what the stage is like. Okay. I'm uh, just checking. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, okay, next we're actually gonna go into that room. So, so you have to go to the back of the boat and then go back to the sort of the mid section of the boat. But you gotta, like, climb back up here. Okay. Okay. So, it's like, oh, that's a long way down. Um, we're not gonna climb. We're gonna do that. And then, touch my honey this time and you'll be sorry! Wow, that's the first time I got close enough to it to, uh, the, the B one to activate its dialogue. And as you see, we only have two left. Uh, that, that'll be for the final level. Okay. So now we want to, uh, be careful, because yes, these, um... This is an instant, like, death if you fall down, and I'll have to collect all my notes again. And any buttons that I hit before to, like, you know, affect stuff, I'll have to hit again. So, yeah, what that button was before, it was these, like, spinning blades. It essentially, um... Essentially, they slow down now. Before, they were constantly moving at a fast pace. Okay. And I would be like, oh, let me go and grab that. I really don't want to test anything right now. Please don't knock me down. Okay. And so that's this right here is another thing that I have to, um, I'll have to hit two of these, like, switches to, um, oh! No, okay, I got scared I was gonna get hit knocked sideways and just instantly fall down. Cause we don't need that to happen because we are way too close to finishing this stage. And honestly, like if I can collect a hundred notes, I'll be fine. Like I don't mind getting, you know, killed in the process. It's like as long as I collect a hundred before I die, I'll be fine. Also, wow, like, yeah, this stage is much smaller compared to, like, the last few stages. Okay, time it! Thank you. And I was saying, I don't mind using Wonder Wing. Okay. Um. Let's see, are there any other notes? Other than those four, because I'm at 92, which will leave me at 96. Okay, so now I need to time this. 
Okay. I think that should be good now. Because now I need to hurry up, race, and go to the back of the boat. Oh my gosh, I got so scared. Actually, no, there's no time. Okay, just gotta take it safe, we'll be fine. Oh, I timed it. I timed it so perfectly. Okay. If I can actually do this first try, I will be so happy. Now, the, the scary part is once I finally, like, go and collect the Jiggy, um... I really have a hard time getting out of the blades because, like, once they start, you're essentially trapped behind the blades. Okay. Um, I might or might not have enough time to, like, get in and get out. Okay. Okay. We're good. Okay, yeah, and then they start up again, and that's such a, that is such a, like, lengthy, terrible process. Also, real quick, uh, Twy Twy Cross England, I'm pretty sure that's the same place, um, that where, at the time, like, Rareware was, like, um, essentially, um, like, that's, that's where they worked, you know, that's where they made their games and stuff. So, like, Rareware is an, uh, like, English, you know, England, um, company. Whereas, like, like, whereas, you know, Nintendo themselves, they're more, like, you know, there's, well, there's Nintendo of Japan and Nintendo of America. Well, like, Nintendo started off as, like, a J Japanese, like, company. Okay. <sighs> okay, we need to go back down. <gasps> I'm... I would have been so mad if I ground pounded all the way to the bottom. Okay, so let's be careful. <gasps> I got scared that I, I thought the ground for some reason like tossed me up and like tossed my salad. Okay. Oh, hey. Yep, my that's my childhood right there. No, yo, 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 yo. Okay. Okay, so where exactly are the last four? Oy, 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 oy. Okay, let's just wait for these. Um, now I'm debating, like, when do I pause? Because I don't want this to last forever. Or at least, or at least this episode. You know what? Yeah, what we're gonna do is that we'll go. Okay, we will. Once I collect everything I need, because all I need are the four notes, right? Yes. Oh, 41 minutes. Okay, uh, I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up then. Banjo Kazoopal. I don't know why I say banjo. Sometimes, like in my head, I'll be like, "Oh, banjo kazoo because I like to be goofy sometimes. So where is the um? You know what? I'm gonna pause. Okay, yeah, I just remembered there was one more like little uh like freight box that um I need to go to. Oh my gosh! Leave me alone. Oh yeah, if you kill all of them, the, you get a free one up. 98 eggs. But yes, eh, that's, you know, that's it for this level. I, because I played this game for so many years, I've 100% it, like, you know, collected everything. I've, you know, I've done everything in the game, like, so many times, like, on the Xbox Live Arcade version and the Nintendo 64 version. Uh, you know, growing up, it's like, you know, playing this game is just, I love it. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. That's what it is. I love the Banjo-Kazooie series. I keep seeing the news 
on like the Google thing because like well you get like recommendations like if using Google on it. I don't know why I needed to hit that. I just had the urge to. But um, it's like oh, uh, there's gonna be a new Banjo Kazooie game coming out this year or 2024. I haven't heard anything. Um, the the last let's say the other like rareware game that like I heard about like you know what was it was it 2020 or 2021 that we had a um that we had a um announcement it was a, I'm pretty sure it was from the Xbox showcase of like E3 unfortunately you know rest in peace E3 is dead you know, I'm gonna miss that because I really wanted to go to those. It was so exciting seeing those. Um, you know, like the live streams and stuff. But, um, uh, give me a moment. Give me a moment to think. Yeah, the last thing, like, that was, like, rareware, like, um, related was, uh, that there's gonna be a, a new Perfect Dark game. You know, there was like a teaser trailer for it. Uh, we haven't heard anything since then. It's probably uh, in, in you know, development hell, unfortunately. I think, I think Brentilda is in one of these. Oh no, I guess not. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'll say that's a, like the last time I've heard of anything about that. So I mean, I would love for there to be a. Uh... I would like, I would love for there to be a new Banjo Kazooie game. Also, this area is fun because I'm just I'm right now I'm gonna waste all of these. I like doing that. Every, every time I go in there, I like doing that. So yeah, here's the the final area. And so we'll come up here, and you're like, huh? It's just it's just a big old log, you know? There's nothing here. We like, oh. But, um. So there's one area that, like, I purposefully, um, purposefully, um, um, like, avoided. Because there really was no point in, like, I mean, it, it would have been interesting to, like, show it off, but, but as you can see, since, like, the beginning of the game, uh, there's that, uh, um, that magic pot. Magic, mm, cauldron. It's a cauldron. So that cauldron takes us back to the beginning of the um, layer, or like close enough to the beginning. And so you're like, hmm, you know, I walked around this area, you know, where could the, um, where could the, uh, you know, where could the puzzle piece thing be for it? And I remember when I was young, I always had like so many dreams of like, what could this puzzle piece be, you know, what, you know, or like, what could this level be? So, um, as you can see, also I just saw Brentilda, I'm pretty sure, is a little picture of the, um, of the switch for the level. So yeah, this is uh, a little area at the beginning of the game. I actually like that because it's like, you know, if you're young and you're all right, let me hold that thought. Frisch, Frisch is the last Gruntilda. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is bursting boils. This poor guy called Undead Ed was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. Ooh, you poor dears, your energy's low. Ah, uh, yeah. Also, yeah, that's like the, the strongest version of these, like, Gruntlings. That actually take two hits from those. 
Or actually, I think maybe, or I think like, cause normally a ground pound would kill like the blue one, which is like the stronger one. Um, but yeah. But yes, um, I like the idea that like, you know, you gotta wait until like you get to the final area of the game to then activate a switch that allows you to, um, we're gonna swim down. That allows you to get into like the final like world of the game. So yeah, as you can see, like down over here is Treasure Joe Cove, the entrance to that level. And if you come down here, this was always here at the beginning of the game, except for the part that um, where there's like the pedal stool. So like you would. Oh yeah, and I missed I missed this Brentilda. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. I also know that Putrid Parrot Puke is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is Dung Brown. Look at that, we have 33. And that's the thing, it's like, look at that, there's only one puzzle piece, like, in it. Jigsaw piece, and the rest is all, like... It's like, you literally have to fill your, like, fill your imagination to figure out what could this level be. And then you do this. And it's like, wow, it's a giant tree level. So it's just gonna be one big giant tree, okay. And so click clock wood. Um, I would love to, um, go and start the final level, but we'll have to wait till next time. Um, but yeah, just the concept that, like, you gotta wait the entire game, like, you gotta figure out, oh, like, there, there's a puzzle, like, maybe this is some kind of hidden level. Nope, it's the, it's the last level. Um, oh, there's a thing behind one of the trees, I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Well, yeah, there's you, and then behind the- No, wait. Oh, that scared me. Um, yeah. Was that it? I thought that was a mumbo token. Oh, yeah. There we go. But, um, yeah. We'll just, <laughs> again, leave this to the imagination. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hope you all have a good one.